Hey, it's Norm from Tested, and for today's show and tell, I want to talk about cosplay. I was just at Dragon Con, saw some amazing cosplayers. There's actually a, a huge gallery of my photos on Tested right now, and at Dragon Con, I wore this, my first foray into dressing up as a character from one of my favorite films, Star Trek. 2009 reboot. I'd actually make this costume myself, as many cosplayers do. They sew and fabricate. Um, I, I acquired most of these parts online, but they're fairly accurate, so I wanted to show you exactly what the components are if you want to go dress as a Star Trek character. So let's first talk about the tunic. I'm wearing the gold tunic. This is made by Anovos. They are a costume company that's not like Ruby's, not like your Halloween costume company. They do officially licensed science fiction show suits, and this tunic uh, it's really nice, really nice and soft. And this is the gold Kirk version with three bands. So people who saw me at Dragon Con, they yelled out Sulu. Three stripes means Kirk. Uh, Novus also sells an undershirt, so this is actually a separate shirt, very comfortable. It actually has the Federation logo inside. And in the 2009 version, a lot of the actors wore a dickie inside that connected. Separate pieces here, so you actually let this flow a little bit. If you're ordering one of these tunics from Novus, I actually recommend getting one size higher. This is a medium, and it's a little bit tight. Works for me, but for people with a bigger frame, go one size higher than you'd normally wear. Next up, the pants. Now, Anovos also sells pants. They're a little pricey at $150, so I wanted to find an alternative, something that worked well. So I went on some forums and asked some Star Trek fans uh, what they would wear if they wanted to dress the Star Trek into darkness cosplay. And what they told me is that the costume designer for Star Trek 2009 and Into Darkness based the pants on motorcycle jeans. And looking online and looking at different types of motorcycle jeans, they found that one company over in Korea, Fabric Square, actually sells jeans that are about the same color and have the knee pad ridges that are like the ones from Star Trek Into Darkness. So I ordered those, had them shipped over from Korea. Next up, the boots. Uh, in 2009, the costume designer used DKNY Rebel model boots for all the principles, and they bought basically all of the boots available on the market. So you can't buy them right now, they're out of stock. In 2013, if we're into darkness, there's another pair of DKNY boots they actually bought and modified. It's a woman's boot, also pretty much out of stock. I found these boots, they're called Rider Tech boots on overstock.com, not too expensive at all, and they look very much like the Star Trek Into Darkness boots. You have this inner toe sole with the pattern as the ones you see in the movie. You have a little few accessories as well. The pin actually comes from Quantum Mechanics. We did an interview with them at Comic-Con. They have the official license for the Star Trek 2009 and 2013 pins. And this phaser I bought myself in 2009 also from Quantum Mechanics. If you actually buy the 2013 movie Deluxe Edition Blu-ray, you will also get one of these phasers as well. Mine is set to kill. Pew pew, pew pew. So that's what I wore at this year's Dragon Con. It was very comfortable. I love walking around in costume. Maybe I'll do it next year. If you have any ideas what you want to see me cosplay as next, post them in the comments below. We'll be back next week with another cool show and tell on Tested. I'm Norm, and I'll see you next time. Sure.